I'm all about living my best and healthiest life and it's been a minute since I shared some of those healthy habits that I love to integrate into my days so I thought I'd share some of my daily to-dos that will hopefully get you inspired and give you ideas of how to cultivate a well-rounded wellness practice. So let's nourish our bodies, calm our minds, pamper our souls and ignite our passions. Are you ready? Let's do this. DJ. <laughs> I purchased this DJ deck. <clears throat> I became obsessed, literally obsessed, with watching DJ videos, anything and everything DJ, learning about how to use the decks, learning about the software and the program and how to organize your music. And I've just fallen deep into this space of DJ. And I've always, always, always wanted to be a musician. I don't want my entire life to pass and me not ever have tried to be something that I've always wanted to be. And so this is a time when I'm exploring that space. DJing is a way for me to create music with files that have already been made. So I've been um, pulling music from Epidemic Sound and remixing it and playing with it and just like honestly having fun with it. I don't know where I'll go. I have a cool vision of how it could be, maybe integrated into a podcast where I'm like speaking about positivity and all these different kind of learnings and life lessons and maybe I could do it for yoga or like retreat experiences. Right now I'm DJing. Anyways, so I'm like trying not to think about like what am I gonna do with this DJing and like if I'm not doing it for money or if I'm not doing it for um, you know playing at shows or if I'm not doing it to play at house parties or whatever like why am I DJing? Honestly because I'm hella curious and it's super fun and I've just been allowing myself to really be fueled by it and it um, it's just fun so I uh, got Babes hooked and he has been jamming out with me on occasion and it's been like a fun bonding experience. How'd you get all the way into the song so far? That also I think is another healthy habit to be able to incorporate into your life where you can have something that you and your partner can really vibe on and that is nourishing your relationship um, with yourself and also your partner. I think that's a really cool thing. YouTube was very much that at the beginning and then it became more work and so this is still in a place of being playful and fun, experimental. Babes is really freaking good at making music. He does guitar, he plays the djembe and like, uh, Babes is just a really talented musician and things like that just really come naturally to him. And so I get a little self-conscious to play in front of him, but it's really good for me to put those walls down and kind of expose myself to my lack of keeping up with the beat in such a good way. But then I have to go back to just like, okay, I do love music. I might not be great at like, the ultimate beat matching and the music making portion of it yet, but like it takes time and I'm excited to nurture this new hobby. Um, and I'm excited to also nurture this new concept of allowing myself to explore a new hobby consistently throughout my life. Yeah. 
So while my new DJ hobby is very much mine, that hasn't stopped my family to become a big part of the journey. And it's been so fun to share more music together on another level. Our family bonding moments are so special to me and a big part of my daily habit to express love and appreciation for each other. With that being said, I'm so grateful to have had Jackery be a part of our family for the last few years. So thank you again to Jackery for sponsoring yet another video. Many of you have probably heard me talk highly of our Jackery unit and heard me share all the times that we've used these portable batteries. From beekeeping to traveling, home renovation projects and gardening, we have found a use for our Jackery each and every day. And at this point, we'd find it hard to live without one. We have a few different size units that come in handy. The 240 is Justin's handy dandy grab and go unit for beekeeping. It's a perfect size for him to take in and out of the bee van and into his host backyards for mic treatments. The 1000 is our middle ground unit that is great for being in the back of the Jeep on all day or weekend excursions to charge camera gear, power our laptops and all our camping amenities. Our biggest unit is the 1500 Pro. This one is a beast and helps us get home renovations done around the house and powers up tools and other appliances when we're camping. What's really helpful is that they're all rechargeable by solar, your home plugs or your car outlet so you can have power no matter your situation. They can charge your gear through standard plugs, USB or USB-C, making it easy to charge lots of devices at one time. So if you've been waiting for a Jackery sale, be sure to check out their Prime Day promo on Amazon, where you can get up to 44% off the 2000 Plus, the 3000 Pro, the 2000 Pro, the 1000, the 1000 Pro, and their smaller units. The link will be in the description. And thank you again to Jackery for being such an integral part of our family. Odin is a big part of my daily life and my sidekick when it's just me at home. So I've really been loving dedicating an hour to my day to play, walk and just prioritize him. He offers so much love and affection that the least I can do is give some back even on the days when I'm really busy. I set an intention this year to photograph more and so one day I went out to the lake and caught some really beautiful snaps of this handsome guy. Hi, and welcome to my juicing station. I am gonna be reusing this very old watermelon. Um, it's sort of inedible. It's been frozen a bit in our fridge and kind of like dried up on the edges. And I'm gonna just juice it because you'll never know. <laughs> it's inedible. I really love juicing. It's been actually a while since I've made a fresh juice and I've had the juicer in one of the cupboards here of the kitchen and I just yesterday took it out because I was like, I'm gonna keep this thing on the counter. We have a big enough kitchen that we can and I want to see it to remind myself of juicing more and to be motivated to juice. I find that sometimes I feel just like really full in my body, but I'm hungry or I want something wholesome or fresh. And normally my go-to as of late has been just sparkling water. It gives me that feeling of like needing to do something or consume something or stay hydrated and replenish my body with healthier nutritional choices over like snacking on something that might not really serve me and I'm eating just because I'm bored or whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm super excited to have this choice. Okay, it's so quick, it's so easy and it's so rewarding when you drink it. Honestly, it just tastes like a jar of life. <laughs> it's so good. I've done multiple cleanses that I've shared with you guys on the on the YouTube channel. 
and it's been really fun to document. I've been thinking that I really should do another. <sighs> Such a good healthy habit to have to just really super fuel my body. And I really appreciate taking the time to just make a healthy juice because I don't do it often enough. And this is just me reminding myself to do it more often. Plus, Zay loves fresh juices. So I'm gonna keep the rest of this one in a fridge. It should be good for a few days and um, she'll be able to enjoy some of this deliciousness with me. I've come a long way with my eating habits to get them to where they are today. From under eating to over eating to finding the balance of where I am now. By no means am I perfect, but I give myself the permission now to be a little naughty from time to time, which we should all do, because life is for living and a little sweet treat doesn't hurt. Anyhow, eating fresh veg, taking the time to make food from scratch, putting love and appreciation into the nourishment that we offer our bodies helps me to really keep a good mindset. Our mantra when we were making recipes for our cookbook, Tiny Home Big Flavor, was to laugh, love, and thrive. And the food we eat is a big part of all of those things. Eating well helps me feel light in my body and energized to keep up with my day-to-day -day responsibilities. I love being the best wife and having food ready for Justin on his long beekeeping days and the best mum for deliciously rainbow packed lunches for Azalea's school. It's all a part of our daily habits to eat well. We've been exploring lots of new recipes lately and just making it a point to bring the fun into the kitchen. That's what we not have a way to make them but, but I like them. I think that their skin tastes really good. Way. <laughs> this is so sticky. You want to eat it? It's just like ah. Rules. I think we can do it like one more time and it'll be done. This? There you go. It's so slimy. Yeah. Can I hold it? Oh my. Well, this is my new favorite thing to do, no doubt. <laughs> An at-home retreat to self-love on your body. Foot soaks and bubble baths, face masks, hair maintenance, you know, all the things. Budget Living has inspired me to create my own monthly self-care practice and take it as an opportunity to teach Azalea about caring for our bodies. It's such a great way to induce mega relaxation and de-stress. 
At the start of the year, you all heard me talk about my intentions, and one of which was to journal more often. It's been great to dig deeper into myself. I used to mostly journal about my business goals and the struggles I was constantly going through, but lately I've been opening my heart to more positivity, documenting more memories of joy and gratitude, and having a desire to commemorate the magical moments of life rather than only having a sorrow journal. It's been a challenge to pose questions to myself that I don't know answers to, but rewarding and insightful when I come to an answer that's buried somewhere within my subconscious. Overall, my journal practice is evolving and I'm grateful to be documenting my inner thoughts more often than I have in most recent years. During the chaos of renovations, we have been incredibly lazy at keeping our tools and paints and tubs and, well, everything organized. It's clutter that causes a mountain of stress and frustration, especially when I can't find the tools that I need because nothing is organized. So hallelujah to dedicating 30 minutes of my day straightening out mess. It really clears my head and makes me feel happy, accomplished, and motivated to work again. Many of you already know about my online yoga teacher training that I've started. I'll share a video about the experience at some point as I get further along, but I just wanted to share how it's been really encouraging to get me moving more often, to take out my yoga books and challenge myself more. And on those lazy days, instead of just sitting around on the sofa watching TV, I roll out my mat and listen while I move. Lately, Azalea has been inspired to join me and it's been really fun seeing her have a deeper understanding of movement and the impact it has on your body and how your mind is a big part of the challenge, especially when it comes to balance. I've had the thought to record my full yoga flows and share them in real time on Patreon. Let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. I try to get in at least a 30 minute practice. That's when I really start to feel the benefits in my body. I'm more loose and more relaxed, less tense, less sore, more mobile and less in pain. So hopefully this encourages you to get your body moving each day, even if it is for as little as five minutes of yoga. Lately, I've been carrying some unwanted feelings. I decided to heal those wounds, release the burden, and express the emotion outwardly in the form of painting. As a creative, this is a powerful way for me to work through struggles that I'm facing in my mind, while I intentionally express the thoughts in a visual form. I wrote a mantra to guide me through the process of this piece. I release all guilt from my mind, body, and soul. I forgive myself for any mistakes I have made and let go of any self-blame or self-judgment. I trust in my own inner wisdom and know that I'm always doing the best I can with the knowledge and resources I have. I am free to move forward with a clear and open heart, knowing that I'm worthy of love and acceptance. I choose to be gentle with myself in this moment and each day releasing guilt's burden. I pave a path to peace and light the way. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing some of my recent healthy habits that helped me to keep a level head and a heart full of joy and enlightenment. It was really fun to recreate one of an old videos that we've made on the channel and share where we're at currently in life. So until next time, a bientôt.